All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. And this is Conversations with the Crawleys. We have conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps, reviews, and commentary on some of our favorite shows. This one is all about Stasha and Nate from Married at First Sight Season 15 in San Diego, so you know what to do. Subscribe, share, like, notifications. You got it. We got it. All right, we'll see, and then we see you in the comments. Yep. All right, so Nate meets with one of his friends and uh, talking about the relationship, and Nate's like, it's been unreal. They've got good chemistry. Friends like, sounds good. Sounds like it's going really well. Have you opened up? Well, well <laughs> I think I opened up. I think for how men open up, I've opened wide open. And for him, yes, based upon how he may normally communicate, he may have opened up a lot more. He said, I shared everything. <laughs> everything I could think of that would be deep for me, mm -hmm. I shared. Mm -hmm. But he does talk about how Stasha wants him to go deeper. And he's like, I'm, that's as deep as I am. He's like, look. I don't I, know what, what's I, even I, deeper than I, that. I, I, this is a kiddie pool. I, I, <laughs> you're not going to get an ocean out of me. Sorry. But he does talk about how Stasha has been going to counseling mm -hmm. and how that's been really helping her. Mm -hmm. And so he feels like, well, maybe if I go to counseling, that might make me that deeper. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's something I, I can I can benefit from it. Right. Um, and then he also says he, he his concern is that he doesn't want to be vulnerable and open up. And then she switch it up. Right. And then she's like, oh, no, nah, that's OK. I'm done. Right. And and that is part of just love and relationships is being vulnerable and having to essentially trust that the person that you're being vulnerable with can handle you in your vulnerable state. And I think if I, you know, I'm not trying to speak for all men, but I think that's pretty common with men about being vulnerable because when they're being vulnerable, they're trying to trust you that they're trusting you in a sense with their manhood, like, mm -hmm. hey. I feel certain ways and I need a safe place to come. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be my safe place? Mm -hmm. So I get where he's coming from, but I was, I was really enlightened to hear. It sounded really authentic yes. about him going to go to counseling. Cause yes. when she first mentioned, he was like, let me think this, let, let me think, let me am think I going to get the right me. answer? Yeah. What should be my answer? And this time around, you can see that he's like authentic. Even I'm not saying he wasn't authentic before, right. But you could tell that he's really put some thought exactly. into what's going on. Yeah. But his friend was like, make sure you're doing it for you and not just better doing you, not just for her. Correct. Don't just be a yes man. Correct. Yeah. Um, so they have a 70s themed party and nobody got the memo on this one. They came. Nobody came. I looking. thought they did. They were trying. In the Who? In, in their party, maybe yeah, maybe was... one person. Okay, but I I saw at least the, one person. The like dude was jacket. like, "No, that wasn't a members only jacket." Oh. First of all, members only was in the eighties and nineties, or eighties really. Late oh, okay, 80s. well, so that's when I was really a child because when I was in the seventies, I was just a little bitty baby. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, me too, pretty much. <laughs> all right. So then uh, he's talking with her friend and sister, um, and. <laughs> Again, the question comes, or the issue comes up as far as she wants kids fairly soon, like within a year, to at least start trying. And he's like, look, she don't like dogs. How I know she gonna, how she going to be around kids? If, if she can't take care of dogs and don't have compassion for dogs, what's she going to do with the kids? I think he was talking about how clean she is and concerned, like yes. all this. Mess. And she works a lot. Mm -hmm. So does she really want to take this on or am I supposed to stay home? Right. So, and I think he wants to be financially more stable. Yes. In that respect. So the there's a friend, lot. The, one of his friends brings up, first of all, uh, Nate's mom. Because as the friend is talking to mm. Stasia, um, Stasia says, of course, her age is a reason because she's like, I'm 37. That makes if sense. If we're talking waiting three to five years, that puts me at 40, 42. It's high risk. It's high risk. She's like, so it is, uh, a, a, there is a schedule that we've got to try and at least meet or, or adhere to. Um, and the friend trying to, again, just help Stasha maybe see Nate's perspective is you got to think about the issue with his mom, um, that his mom abandoned 
and then also wanting to make sure that his kids are financially secure. So if something does happen with you, the kids are taken care of and, and that Nate may have an abandonment complex, right? Mm -hmm. So I agree. I agree with that. I think what I I still like the trajectory that mm -hmm. they're on. They're in a good, good place. They're in a really good place. And I know their time is gonna come and having conflict. I just wanna make sure that they look at the great times they're having. So mm -hmm. when that blow up comes, because it's like right before a storm. Right. And trying to really be able to get what people are saying coming from and don't push too much, right? Yes. Because it's still a lot for them to to adapt to and get mm -hmm. used to. And that can bring conflict. Because one thing she says, and, and I'm gonna help some people out here a moment, okay? Because she says she does not understand when he does not have feelings regarding something. In other words, what I got from her is that she'll ask him, what do you feel about this? And he's like, it doesn't matter. There are times for me oh God. where I don't have an opinion one way or the other. I can do this or I can do that. You can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this. Or I don't care. And sometimes for you, I know, and just in general, I know sometimes you'll be like, no, I'll make a decision. It doesn't matter to me. We can do either one, right? Yes. I if it matters that much to you about a decision, make the decision. I'm good either way. I hear that. But when you want input and it's like, I, I don't know what I want specifically. So I'm asking for opinions. So that means I want your input because I personally don't even know or really care either. But somebody got to eat. Let's just keep it basic. Sometimes picking dinner is hard for us. Nobody knows what they want to eat. So if we have a lot of decisions and I'm like, okay, give me an option. you like, I don't care. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. I guess we're not going to eat because no one can decide. So I I hear what he's saying, <laughs> but I hear, I hear her side as a woman, as a woman that you, you don't have any inkling. Sometimes I sometimes you just don't have a feeling one way or the other towards something. And I think that's something I you you just have to learn to say, okay, yep, that's fine. Yep, and move I, on. I'm not going to get anything out of the rock. Move on. So I'm gonna stop beating it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so then, with the ladies breaking off with the ladies, the guys breaking off with the guys, question of who's consummated their relationship comes up. And Nate's like, well, I haven't really consummated, but I did have some dessert after dinner. And they go, what does that mean? I said, oh, Jesus. Let's just say, who is it? SW, SWV. Uh, Nate went downtown. That's the way to her love. <laughs> I was like, come on, guys. How old are y'all? Come on. At least Justin was like, did he have peach cobbler? Did he have peach cobbler? <laughs> Uh, was it cherry pie? Was it cherry rhubarb? What, 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 what are we talking about here, bro? Because Mitch was like, uh, what? at least you, what did he say? He said something about uh, you getting the appetizer. Or something. Yeah, he's like, I would consider that the appetizer. Right, right. I consider it an appetizer instead of dessert. You know, so he's like, and I like to take care of my woman. Okay. Power to you. It's their relationship. And if this gets them to the point where they feel like, you know, they're going to be able to consummate right. their marriage at some point, yep. I think it's happening. Yep. You know, it's going to get there to that point. Absolutely. But they trust enough each other with their sexuality to say we can, there's some things that we are on and we can move around the basis. Exactly. So. Yep. So. Listen, that's it for this recap of this couple. Make sure you check out the other videos that we're doing on the other couples. A lot of you have mentioned that you like this way that we're doing it, and I think it works really well because mm -hmm. uh, it gives us time to get into each couple and then not get confused about who said what to who. All right, so listen, that's what we have for this one. We'll see you next time. Have a great one. Be blessed. Bye.